So it looks like the surviving Diddy documentary is going to hit us sooner than we expected because Kim Porter's BFF, Kimora Lee Simmons, is finally speaking up against Diddy and how he covered up Kim's murder. Y'all, Kimora Lee is not here to play with Diddy, and this is one messy situation, so let's break it down. Everybody is out to expose Diddy because Cassie's lawsuit against him a couple of days ago seems to have given a lot of people the courage to come out and expose him, and Kimora Lee is one of the many people who is now speaking up. In her lawsuit, Cassie revealed that Diddy had been mean to her during their 11-year relationship and treated her very, very badly. The lawsuit said that Diddy as aid Miss Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave him, often punched, kicked, and stomped on Miss Ventura, resulting in bruises, burst lips, black eyes, and bleeding, forced Miss Ventura to engage in intimate acts with male SWs while getting off on it and filming the encounters, demanded that Miss Ventura to carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is, and introduced Miss Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. Her lawsuit set the internet ablaze immediately because people have been giving Diddy the side eye for the longest time. There have been talks about how he's not exactly a good guy like he likes to pretend on social media. And a lot of people believe that he has done some really shady things in the past and even today. So when Cassie filed her lawsuit, it was like an eye opener for everyone. And Diddy caught a lot of smoke online. At first, Diddy tried to deny the allegations and he released a statement through his lawyer who said, he vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. Miss Ventura's demand of 30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Miss Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. However, he eventually convinced Cassie to settle the case out of court and she released a statement saying, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Diddy also released a statement where he said, we have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. But even though Cassie dropped the lawsuit, Cassie managed to bring a lot of shame to his name because the lawsuit is public and we all saw what he did to Cassie. So even though they settled it in private, we all know and see Diddy for what he is. And the good thing is that it has sparked conversations about Diddy's past and how badly he treats his women. An old interview from his bodyguard, Gene, resurfaced where Gene spoke about how he used to put paws on his baby mama and then girlfriend, Misa Hilton. So we just solved that for you. Cause well, Misa was out there. She was messing with... Uh... The dude uh, from EPMD. That's why Puff first Puff first beat her. Excuse me. Sorry about no, that. No, you fine. You hey, tell, yeah. tell. But she was not the only one because his side piece, Gina Hun, also revealed that Diddy treated her badly. In the beginning, like the first three and a half years, he was I mean, like the first three month three, four months, he was really nice, but then after that he was he started being a so like I say like the first three and a half years he was like mean to me. So when you say mean, describe it. Um, he was he was like always belittling me and always like he, I just he was like mentally, emotionally and physically me. He also did the same thing to Kim Porter because there are several reports of how Diddy treated her badly. There are countless reports of Diddy putting paws on her, like this old interview where Jean spoke about how Diddy treated Kim so badly to the point where she finally started fighting back and defending herself. One night uh, when they were at, at home, at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those corkscrews and ripped his wrist up and hit an artery. And when she did that, he had to rush over to St. Luke's Hospital. So we know that Diddy put hands on Kim until it got extreme. And I guess this has something to do with why people suspect that Diddy has something to do with her death. 
The interesting thing about this is that Kim was writing a tell-all book at the time of her death, and there were reports that after she passed, her laptop and some other stuff were stolen from her house, which just makes the entire situation even more sus. Jaguar Wright also hinted very strongly at this last year when she said this. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. And, and did y'all see that viral video that a medium posted where she was talking to Kim Porter's spirit and how she told her that something was gonna happen in November? Well, she was spot on. So like crazy, I am being shown November of 2023. So her death date was November 15th of 2018, but I'm being shown November of 2023. I don't think we're done with this. I feel she's shaking her head yes before she stare at me, then she wait and now she's shaking her head yes. I am being shown that things are being prepared. She is showing me a trumpet, people are standing straight up and there are people going to speak, not just about what happened to her, about other things. Something is unraveling. And even though Kim is no longer here to speak up for herself, she still has people to speak up for her, including her bestie, Kamora Lee Simmons. Now, Kamora Lee is no stranger to dealing with creepy men because she was married to Russell Simmons, and y'all know the things that Russell has been accused of doing. Well, according to an insider, Kamora Lee was bursting with joy when she heard of Cassie's lawsuit because she believes that it is way past time for Diddy to answer for his actions. The insider added that Kimora has always believed that Diddy knows more about Kim's death than he let on and that he was heavily involved with covering up her death. The insider also added that while Kimora was disappointed with Cassie dropping the lawsuit, she understood how difficult it would have been for Cassie to relive the horror in front of the world. And just so the entire world knew that Kim Porter needs justice, she shaded Diddy publicly when she said, as you sow, so shall you reap. Well, Kamora has the support of the people on this and they left comments saying, Kamora Lee Simmons has seen it all in this industry. She also is a staunch believer that Kim Porter's death was not pneumonia and tried to alert the authorities Diddy may have contributed to it. These rumors were everywhere. When Kamora Lee proves that Diddy killed Kim Porter, it's a wrap for him. And Kamora Lee Simmons has also been rumored to be making a case against Diddy as well. Kim was one of her closest friends and she was the one that found her. So she knows Diddy is hiding something scary. Girl, I can't wait for the day Kamora Lee comes out to speak directly on this because I just know that she has a lot of damaging information on Diddy. But in the meantime, y'all go ahead and let me know what y'all think about this particular drama in the comments, then check out this next video.